Hey everybody, so um, I am ironically beardless at Bearded Irish Brewing Company in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, thought I would do a little quickie. You know, I know that I've gotten at least a decent response from my on-site stuff. So I can make sure the label's viewing, viewable. And um, just kind of got here. Um, never had any of their stuff before, so it should be interesting. This is Homestyle, it's your flagship. Um, nice and hazy as you can see. Got that kind of good hazy gold orange color. Or is it kind of smooth white, one finger head. Subtle kind of citrus, citrus hops, and grapefruit, and a definite like a melon, melon sweetness there in the nose. Sorry, the bar is very narrow, so I don't really have a lot of room to place the drink. I didn't like sit it on my laptop. Um, that's really nice. Um, very smooth. It's I can say this: it's comparable to the stuff I had at the other half, and it's comparable to the. Uh, To the stuff I had at Trillium. Actually, um, it has a kind of a nice green flavor. I'll try to try to kind of show the place just a little bit so y'all can kind of see it. Um, so just so you can kind of kind of get a little bit of a view there. But um, one kind of complaint I do have about this place is it's really dark in here. Um, I wish they'd bring the lights up a little bit, but there's some nice paintings. You got the um, big fooders I think you might have been able to see a little bit ago. But um, yeah, so far this is really nice. It's, uh, it's smooth. Just enough of a hot bite to remind you that it's there, real cool, real hazy. New England IPA is really popular right now, so. You know, there's, there's no question why it's not for everybody, but I, you know, I certainly like them. They're not my favorite. But this is a real solid example of the style, and I will be taking some of this home. Um, I'm going to check out for just a little bit here. I'll come back and uh, review another one in short. But, uh, yeah, those are my thoughts right now. And like I said, I'll check up with you all in just a little while. So I'm back. Um, this time I am trying, hang on just a second, make sure I get this right. Entangled, double or uh, dry hop saison. As you can see here, it's got a really nice kind of creamy one finger head. Let's try to back up just a little bit. And um, kind of nice hazy golden yellow sort of body on it. Definitely got that spice in the nose, but uh, something that leads more toward a triple because it's got like um, some more like banana and clove which is really nice. Um, I'm excited to try this um, just from a brewery kind of brewing some of the more New England style stuff. Um, I forget the name of it but I had a Saison when I was at Trillium in Boston and um, I really like their approach. You know I mean it's obviously the complexity tends to get dialed back a little bit when, uh, when the dry hopping goes wild but, but there's still it's an interesting approach and it's a different take so we'll see here. Um, yeah, I mean, you're definitely getting that pepper, you know, the Saison kind of pepper, pepper notes, but um, it's dialed back a little bit. Um, but yeah, pepper, banana, and clove, definitely. Huh. That's very nice. It's got this, like, subtle acidity to it. A little bit of funk, not a lot. Got a good kind of dirty minerality to it. I like that a lot in these kind of beers. Um, and you know me, I'm a Saison fiend. Um, try to once again show a little bit where we are. You can kind of see the critters in the background here. I'm trying to make these just a, a little bit professional me using my thumb to move things around. But uh, yeah, this is a very pleasant beer. Um, to kind of sum up the, uh, the home style that I just had, um, I really love that. And it was, it's as good as anything that I had at Trillium. And it's um, really um, as good as anything that I tasted in the other half, as, as best I can recall. So um, I'll definitely be picking that up. Probably pick some of this up too. I'm going to try some other stuff as well. And I'll report back into y'all. So um, give me just a little bit, and we'll uh, we'll talk about maybe one or two more beers. Hey 
Hey guys, so I'm back again. Um, also, still at Bearded Iris. I'm trying Attention Please Double Dry Hops Dull IPA. Um, as you can see, it's real, real hazy body. Once again, nice, smooth, consistent, creamy one finger head. Um, I've really enjoyed my experience here. Um, you know, it can't really be a long one, but you know, it's um, it's been really nice. And uh, yeah, like I said, I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but the stuff I've had here is as good as any. I had it trilling my other half. Um, so, like I said, nice creamy one finger head, very hazy orange body. Looks like juice, as is the uh, as is the style. Much more prominent nose. You get some kind of sort of milky fruits. Um, you know, some of those kind of cheesy notes that you tend to get with this, this sort of thing. Um, once again, some kind of melon. A good deal of citrus and pineapple even in this situation. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and taste it and see what's what. Sorry about that. <laughs> So, the thing I'll say about this one already, it feels much more like a traditional double IPA. Now, don't wrong, it's not incredibly bitter. The bitterness is kind of kept to a minimum. But there's this there's this pungent resinousness that, that comes through with those hops that's just very evident from the second you, that you taste it. And um, it's very nice. Um, like I said, it's thick and it's milky. Maybe a little too milky. Um, I'm gonna kind of give a slight down tick on the mouthfeel because um, it tends to be a little soapy. But um, but it's a really nice beer, and I would have it again if it were on draft somewhere. Would I order it? There's no question I would order it. Um, but uh, yeah, really, really, really tasty. Very good beer. Um, I, I overall I've had an excellent experience at Bearded Iris, and um, if I am in Nashville again, I will definitely be back. And as always, if you're drinking, keep drinking. If you're brewing, keep brewing. Cheers, plus, and a bunch of song. <laughs>